Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Carriage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to prevent Windows Server from auto shutting down every hour after license expiry. So I will show you a step-by-step -step guide, okay? So here, the common issue is after Windows Server exp license expires, the Windows Server will automatically shut down every hour, okay? So the generally this issue applies to the Windows Server. It can be a Windows Server 2022, Windows Server 2019, 2016, and lower version 2012 as well. And what the general Microsoft recommendation is, first, whenever the license expires or Windows is automatically shutting down every hour, first we have to identify the root cause of a auto shutdown and we have to review the power settings and also configuration and ensure that all required updates and patches are installed. Here updates means generally Windows Server have a update one, update two, or in other words, we call it a service pack one, service pack two, that is called updates. And patches means every month, second Tuesday, Windows Microsoft releases the security patches. Uh, as per the Microsoft recommendation, any troubleshooting, make sure that our server is running with the latest patches, okay? And the recommended solution is, as we say, the issue is license expiry. So, so the, uh, we know the solution is, we have to activate the new Windows server license key. This is a common resolution step. But some scenarios in case if you are working on a test environment or a development environment, there are some possibilities we are unable to get the active license key on time. So at that time, still our test server or development server, it's a keep on shutting down every one hour. So that scenario I will show you the workaround. The workaround is disable the Windows Server license monitoring service to prevent the automatic shutdown of Windows Server. This is the workaround only. And this option is not recommended for production environment. It's only recommended for test and development environment. But the recommended solution is always activate the new Windows Server license key. So currently, uh, I will just show you the first option how we can identify the root cause and then we'll validate power settings and patches okay let's start with the first option how we can identify the root cause of windows license express this information we can log into the lab system and verify so with interest of our time i'm not showing on all windows server i will take one example of windows server version okay let me connect to the lab system Let's say in our lab, we are using a Windows Server 2019. How we can validate the version is when you open a server manager, within a server manager, we can see that when you maximize the server manager, go to the local server, we can see server version is Windows Server 2019 standard evolution. Evolution means it's a trial license only. And also the product ID, if you see, it's not activated. When you click here, we can see the license information. It is showing that Windows Server 2019 standard evolution, Windows is not activated, and this version of Windows is expired. So this is how we identified the issue. Now we'll find the root cause. Generally, to identify the root cause, Windows recommend to validate from the event viewer. So to open the event viewer, you can just type start run event vwr to open a windows event viewer when you open a windows event viewer go to the windows logs and select the system logs under system logs we can see the specific event logs to identify why our system is keep on auto shutting down every one hour so the recommended is either you can just scroll down one by one log that is one method or alternative method is we can use right side, we can filter the current locks. So let's say within the locks, we can identify the specific locks. Generally for auto shutting down, one common event ID is 1074. When you type 1074 in the set section and click on OK, we will find the relevant 1074. 74 sources user 32 all information for example if i select the today's date is february 5th within the february 5th 8 6 that means 8 o'clock 
currently system was shut down we powered up so you can see the log information here the windows server system 32 you can see the service name here also windows license monitoring service has initiated shutting down of computer on behalf of nt authority authority system the following reason so reason is they given a reason code 0x8 and also shutting down type is shut down and the comment is the license period for this installation windows has expired operating system is shutting down so we found the root cause the reason code also we found so this is how we can identify even if you see the same event id 1074 you can see it's starting from around five o'clock six o'clock seven o'clock and eight o'clock every one hour it's keep on shutting down so that is the reason it recommended troubleshooting steps sir first to make sure that when you go to the system settings we should have a latest patching and also power settings let's say to verify the power settings we have to select the control go to the control plan uh, control plane the command is start run you can type control when you open the control panel you can look for a power option when you type p you will find a power options first we have to verify power option what is this power settings are changed currently turn off display uh, display change to never and put the computer to sleep never never means definitely there will be no issues with the power settings so just close the power setting and another recommended option from microsoft is we have to validate the patches so when you go to the windows update section from the settings tab you can see the server patching is up to date okay so these two basic recommendation steps completed I repeat, the first recommend step is power power settings. It should be set to never and Windows patching should be up to date. So these options also finalized. And another one, we found the root cause. It's shutting down mainly due to the license expiry only. Now the recommended solution is we have to activate the license key. So how we can activate the license key? Just go to the server manager, local server, and when you select the product ID, click on product ID, and you can change the license key. This is the actual VM, uh, Windows recommended solution. But for workaround, I will show you the workaround option. How we can disable the services? Generally open the run run command, run prompt, and you can type the command services dot msc this is one option it will open a services or else another method is open the command prompt and type the command services.msc when you type services.msc and we can look for a windows license monitoring service so when you type w you can see license monitoring service currently it is running and automatic state when you double click you can see this one is by default grayed out state we are unable to change manually from this widget even alternative method is just close the command prompt and the same command prompt right click you can choose run as administrator some scenarios even run as administrator also won't work we'll just test it services.msc and go to the windows lms service like licensing monitoring service double click see here also grayed out we are unable to change the setting setting to disable so just cancel this one what is another recommended option is just close this wizard as well we have to download a ps tools microsoft ps tools ps tools from the microsoft website only just open any internet browser let's say google we can just type the command is uh, ms microsoft ps tools download sorry for the typo ps tools download so when you type ps tools you can directly get the link from the microsoft website anything we can use let's say first link we can select ps tools so just download ps tools see download is completed so go to the download folder this is just zip file only we can extract the folder this is alternative way how we can disable the windows licensing monitoring service so we already extracted so this time i will show you how we can disable again come to the command prompt right click run as administrator and within run as administrator we already tested when we open services.msc we are unable to disable the service windows licensing monitoring service so now we are utilizing ps tools so to utilize the ps tools just now we downloaded so we have to change the path so to change directory 
cd space our path is we downloaded to download folder so let's copy this folder path and you can paste the directory path here so we already changed the directory to ps tools path and here the command we can use is psexec there is a one executable file ps exec that file we are going to run now see the first one ps exec so this application we are using that is one of the ps executable application tool within the ps tool folder so when you type ps exe dot exe the command is hyphen i space hyphen s space cmd dot exe it will help you to launch a additional remote command prompt using psxe exec dot exe application see when you type here see psexe license agreement system internal software license terms click on agree it will launch a new command prompt so this is the ps tools related command prompt now we can try to type a who am i so what is this command prompt see this command prompt when we type who am i it is having a permission of nt authority system permissions just with interest of uh, let me increase the font also for better view see when we type who am i command we can see nt authority system now we have a complete nt authority now type the command services.msc when we type services.msc just maximize this time windows licensing monitoring service can be disabled so go to the windows licensing monitoring service by default option is automatic you can change it to disable but the recommendation is this this disable we should do only for testing and development system it's not recommend to do it on production system okay now the service is disabled state when the service is disabled state we are good to restart so restart just go to start menu and reboot the system to apply the changes so reboot may take a while so once the reboot is completed then we can turn on and we can see whether the service is disabled completely or not this system is currently running on one of the esxi host that means it is a virtual machine only i will show you whether the system reboot is completed or not once the we can monitor the reboot status once it is up we can validate again whether the service status is licensing monitoring service status is disabled or not we'll launch in the new tab see currently reboot is in progress okay now the system is up we can try to rdp okay we are successfully rdp to the our affected system now this time you can just close here and launch the run as administrator command prompt and type the services.msc and we can see windows lms service this lms service status is completely disabled state okay and also we can see the license monitoring status go to the settings tab start menu settings and here select update and security and within update and security left side you can see activation so within the activation currently activation is not activated state only expire state but only thing is when we disable this service it next time it won't restart or it won't shutting down the windows server for every hour okay so that is the importance of our our work around solution so let's back to the slide so as discussed for permanent solution is we have to activate the windows server license key and work around is we have to disable the windows licensing monitoring service okay thank you if you are watching this video first time please do view like share and subscribe to the grand cloud garage channel if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now